And now it's time to practice what we learned in the vendor section of this course. This is a mix of all of the vendor related transactions. You will practice them and check that your numbers are the same as mine. Now here's what the trial balance should look like before you start this exercise. If you have any numbers that are different, you should stop the video, fix your previous mistakes, and make sure you're starting with the exact same numbers. Here's what the vendor balance detail should look like before you start this exercise. And again, I repeat, if it's not exactly the same, and I mean the same line by line, one by one, that means you have to find and fix a mistake before you even start the exercise. Here are the transactions that you're supposed to record for this exercise. You can pause the video in this position and then read the transactions one by one as you record them into QuickBooks. Be very careful and you might have to refer back to a previous video to make sure you're doing them correctly. Here's what the trial balance should look like when you finish. If it doesn't, you have to use what you learned to find and fix mistakes. You can pause the video in this position to compare this trial balance to yours. Now here's what the vendor balance detail should look like after this exercise. Remember, it's not enough that the balance of each vendor is correct. You have to make sure that each individual line, especially the open balance column, each individual line is the same as mine. If not, then you have a mistake. Now, I'm going to ask you some common sense questions to see if you can figure out what mistake you might have made. First question, what if your cash and bank account is too high and your cash on hand petty cash is too low? You can pause this video and listen to the theme of Jeopardy while you think about the answer. Now I'm going to give you the answer you chose the wrong bank account when you wrote a check or paid an expense or bill. That happens all the time. QuickBooks tries to remember the previous bank account for each transaction window, but it's not always the same and you have to check it carefully. Of course, the opposite is also true. If your cash in bank was too low and your cash on hand petty cash was too high, that means you recorded a petty cash expenditure from the cash and bank account. And that's a mistake that you would have to go and fix using the techniques that we learned. What about this? What if each vendor's total balance is correct, but the individual bill balances are wrong? Think about that for a second. What would cause that condition? You can pause the video to think about it, but here's the answer. It means you applied a bill payment to the wrong bill. You got the right vendor and you got the right money amount. That's why the vendor's balance is correct, but you applied it to the wrong bill. Use what you learned in the previous videos to find and fix your mistakes. Keep fixing until your numbers are the same as mine. And you should know that regarding all the other possible vendor transactions, you can watch the desktop videos for refunds and credits, discounts, terms, prepaids to vendors, and reapplying bill payments. Good luck in your exercise.